everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm just gonna do an everyday makeup um look for you all for y'all um so yeah I've already washed my face and now I am going to use this is what I got today from Sephora like uh, it was delivered to me today it's the Kiehl's glow formula skin hydrator with pomegranate extract I'm just gonna pump a little bit onto my hand, like two pumps. And it has like this kind of really nice kind of tint to it, like a orangey type thing. And um, I'm just gonna spread it all over my face to moisturize and also have that lit within, lit from within glow. I know I haven't, I, I haven't um, filmed in a while. I'm sorry, I just, I, I don't know, I just, school has been, um, catching up to me with, like, finishing high school, and, uh, I don't know, I've just been feeling unex unexpired, unexpired, uninspired, <laughs> and, yeah, I think it's been, like, maybe almost a year since I've done videos, maybe, I'm not sure, but it has definitely been a while. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'll try to make more. Today I'm gonna use the NARS. I think this is the this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I do not know the shade because it doesn't have the sticker, but um, it should hopefully match. Might be a little bit orangey on me, but I think it'll it'll work. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. About two pumps, I guess, and I'm just gonna use my finger to apply, and then I'll blend it out with a sponge. I have been really liking like the radiant, dewy, glowy kind of look looks. Um, so far, like I think, um, I don't know. I just I like it. I'm taking this beauty sponge and pouncing it in. I'm going for a nice kind of dewy. Um, glowy look today. This will work nice. It's blending in very nicely. I'm sorry, I'm like turning this into a review. Um, but yeah, I, just, I don't know. I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation. No, I mean, let me, let me take that back. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately just because I wanted to let my skin breathe and like take a break from uh, makeup. I've been keeping it kind of dewy and natural but also like kind of like put together. So I'm just doing a little bit of kind of face makeup and then I'm going to do a kind of purple wing liner with like some um, a gel liner, purple liner, and then um, a a shadow over it <laughs> oh man please comment down below if you've been getting like bad allergies I have lately and it's weird because I do not get bad well no let me take that back I do get allergies but just not as bad and I usually get them like once a year and like in the springtime around here but like <coughs> It's been hitting me hard recently. Okay, so I am going to use some regular scotch tape. This one is blue. And I'm just going to use that for as a guide for my liner. So I'm just going to line it up there and then try to do the same thing over here. And then I'm using the MAC uh, fluid line in Mac Macro Violet, which is a nice purple color. I'm just gonna work the product into this brush. This is the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush. So I'm just gonna do a nice kind of small-ish wing. Um, I feel that gel liner is way easier than using a black liquid liner. And this is purple so it kind of works out for the best. Okay. Now the tricky part is trying to line it up with the other eye. And I kind of like envision where I want it to like start. Like it kind of like 
visually, like, kind of imagine. Okay, so, this is gonna be hard. All right, so liner's done. I'm gonna take a, um, I'm gonna take the Smashbox Hazel Eyes, and I'm gonna take um, this purple shade. I don't know the purple shade, but it's this one in the middle right here. If you can see this one, this purple shade. And I'm gonna take this little tiny like brush, and I'm gonna put this on top of that purple liner just to set it and kind of smoke it out just a little bit with the shadow okay 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 all right so now I'm gonna take these this off okay for concealer I'm using the Tarte Rainforest Rainforest of the Sea concealer in fair I love this concealer so much it gives a nice like radiant dewy um, look for your under eye and it makes it look hydrated and fresh and I'm gonna blend that out with my sponge once again and just pat it in going down from my corner of the eye down to the end of the side of my nose and then up into the hairline so it makes like a kind of triangle for powder I'm gonna use my Smashbox Halo in light and I'm going to bake I'm going to brush off the rest just do a light set of the under eye. I'm just gonna use some translucent translucent powder and set the rest of my face. Just kind of um not the rest of my face. I do like kind of around here and then my nose and kind of like the center of my forehead. Just so it's not too glowy or not too matte. I just what I prefer. I'm using Real Techniques um, multitask brush and just kind of tapping and then I'm just gonna kind of swoosh 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 on. So I love this blush because it's like you get that color but you also get that sheen. It's really nice. For highlight I'm using e.l.f. Baked blush in Moonlight Pearls. I think I'm gonna use this fan brush, um, Eco Tools. I'm just gonna go like this and highlight. Ooh! Yeah! Yes! I'm taking the rest. Put a little bit on a kid bow. And then down my nose. And there. Gonna put a little bit of a... Like I said, I want to be glowy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. My liner does not really want to match up with me right now. But you know what? That's... You know what? It's all good. Let's just finish off with some mascara. This is CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Best drugstore mascara ever thank you for watching my mom and aunt are here so let's go down and get down no i'm kidding but like let's 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 we're done we are done bye guys love you